Dude, I can just hold this laptop with one hand and it's not even that heavy. Just barely one kilo. Illigare has been in the local Malaysian laptop scene for really the longest time. And I remember them since very, very early days making very nice gaming laptops that you can heavily customize on their website. And of course, they followed the trend of creating creator-centric laptops. And I loved everything even from like, let's say when the Arte series first started. And now they wanted to create another laptop that was incredibly simple and incredibly easy to just pick out because you don't really have to customize a lot of things because I believe that the list of hardware specs on this laptop is very nice and competent, very straightforward. And most importantly, it doesn't break the bank. So this is the Illigear Neo 14 Plus OLED and it's a very good laptop. It has a 14 inch InfiniVision 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen that goes up to 120 Hertz in refresh rate. And the base resolution is 2880 by 1800, which means that this is a WQXGA plus resolution and it's an OLED panel with up to 10 bit of color. So that is already at the front of the spec list and it's already a banger of a screen. I absolutely love the screen. In fact, I would go as far to say that this is actually my most favorite part of this laptop because the colors are just so amazing. The colors are just absolutely sharp and vivid. The resolution is there and the colors that accompany it with. I found this really ideal for color sensitive work such as photo editing, graphic design, and of course, video editing, especially when you need to do your color correction. But just how powerful it is, you ask? You get an Intel Core Ultra 9 with 32 gigs of LPDDR5X memory, which goes up to 6400 megahertz. And because this is an Intel platform, this includes the Intel Arc graphics, and it's built in with eight cores. You get one terabyte of SSD, a very relatively silent keyboard. It includes a fingerprint reader, which is a plus, and it's powered by a 100 watt USB type C charger, which is obviously included. It weighs just 1.3 kilos and it's acceptably thin at 18.1 millimeters. I mean, in this segment, they're not trying to be the thinnest laptop anyway. They just want to give you a powerhouse of a laptop to work with for just 5,000 ringgit. That's right. This 32 gig Intel Core Ultra 9 laptop is barely 5,000 ringgit. And if you paid for this in cash, they usually do this thing where they give you a small discount. So you're paying about 4,900-ish ringgit. So I'd say that this is a pretty solid deal. The design is pretty nice and straightforward. It has a primarily aluminum front and back cover and everything else is just plastic on the inside, which is absolutely fine. There is an abundance of ports on each side. So the right side has a micro SD card reader with a USB 3.0, a LAN port, and an earphone jack in the lock itself. Whereas the left side has two USB type C's, one USB type 3.0, and a full size HDMI. And the LED status indicators are also on the left side over there. So I think it's pretty neat. And as a 14 incher with this many ports, I'd say it's pretty complete. You can plug everything into this. You can offload all your media pretty quickly because even for me when I'm offloading media, because I actually use this to edit 4K video, which I will cover about later. Everything was just easy, super fast, super smooth. The chipset, the RAM, and that really fast SSD and 120 Hertz display. I know this is not exactly a gaming laptop, but I have to say that if you're just somebody who's looking to do a lot of work and play some indie games in between, I'm talking about level like Cult of the Lamb, Hades 2, Genshin Impact. Yes, of course, you absolutely can. Dota, come on, that's like the easiest game to run even on integrated graphics. And the Intel Arc graphics in this specific case is definitely no slouch. I actually quite like the keyboard. It's actually as silent as I mentioned before, and it requires not a lot of travel and the actuation I would consider to be pretty fast. The type of experience is pretty nice and solid here, but you know, that's just the basic stuff, guys. Getting work done on a laptop like this was the impressive bit for me, obviously. So like things like the battery life, I do a lot of work on the go because come on, I'm a tech reviewer. I have to go to so many places. I have to go to different cafes for client meetings, restaurants, events. I have to edit photos right at the event venue itself. Of course, I need the legs to last that entire day. And having said that, char charging this up with that 100 watts, charger that's included 
is very nice and universal that's a good touch no more proprietary barrel crap and i definitely want to say that this has pretty decent battery life so running this from the morning editing on lightroom responding to emails uploading everything i can comfortably tell you that you can at least get five hours of single charge battery but this is at least because that's me using everything firing on all cylinders everything in terms of performance and demands from my workflow is up there but if you're just casually browsing on your browser all the time and you're just connected to the internet you would get almost eight hours i would say seven the more realistic number is seven and i must tell you that that's pretty decent because right now these days you know gone are the days where you are constantly relying on just using your charger everywhere though i always recommend you to because that's how you feed your laptop more power to gain more performance especially on very heavy stuff like editing video definitely keep at it keep that habit because if you're editing videos and you need a portable solution this 14 incher that's just barely one kilo can absolutely do the job and a pretty sick and smooth job 32 gigs of ram you have the 120 hertz that smoothness is there to navigate things around pretty quickly. I think Iligir has got it. Arte would definitely be the more powerful of the two because I know people will be asking because these are you know, two of Iligir's most proud of uh, creator laptops. And I would say that the Arte is more powerful in terms of being given a choice of Nvidia graphics in there. So that's a more obvious reason, but you don't get, you don't get the Neo 14 Plus's battery life on a laptop like the Arte because it's got a graphics card to feed and this is all integrated with the processor and it does a good job in doing work and playing light games. So you gotta just conclude whether you want to take which side because there are 14 inches on both sides of the camp but I like to lean in on this more because it's simply you know better with battery life and it's aligning with the workflow demands that I have which is video editing, photo editing, and basic graphic design. And of course, long battery life when I'm just web browsing, which is a huge part of my job because I need to upload videos, write my captions, publish posts, and correspond with every little task that is rel relative to being a creator. So this is a laptop that I can definitely vouch for for like 5,000 ringgit because I believe, you know, people in my line of work and people in media and design industries they they definitely can pay a lot they can pay tens of thousands but of course when they want to start small or they want to have a laptop that they can put in their bag and travel while their main system is at home this is a very suitable candidate for just that i mean you got everything decked out from the spec list to a very very gorgeous colorful screen that fits the needs of color correction on that level the color depth is there at 10 bits and you have the battery life so this is meant to tick all the boxes as a very solid all-rounder except for heavy gaming which is you know not the priority here and at 5000 ringgit which is a price tag that a lot of people can accept so if i'm going to tell you that you want to pick up a neo 14 oled plus these are the prerequisites that you have to tell yourself when you want to buy a laptop like this because it's got everything ready for you and you barely have to customize it even though customizing a laptop is the core experience when you go on to all things Illigear. So this is also a, an aspect where it will appeal to people who are not tech competent. They want an already ready-made choice that is powerful enough to suit their needs. And this makes the perfect sense here because you barely have to customize it. So that's all I have to say. Good job, Illigia. Your momentum is there. I was impressed with the Arte series. And now with your Neo 14 OLED series, and you continue to impress me with the likes of the Neo 14 OLED Plus because you got the specs, you got the battery life nailed out. But most importantly, the price. You've incredibly nailed it for 5,000 ringgit. A lot of people are going to love specs like these and the availability of ports and how portable it is and how light it is. So good job, guys. I'm Zender Geek and I'll see you guys in the next video.